Thank you, Samsung. You finally did it. It took you a long time to do it. Actually, I think Google did it before you. But regardless, you've done it. And you're the important one on the Android side of things. You did it. Thank you. I'm guessing that someone has pictures of you in a compromising position. That's the only reason you would do this. I can't think of any other reason you would do this. It makes no sense. But I'm so happy. And you should be too. If you are a Samsung owner, Android lover, whatever the case may be, Samsung did it. Are they the first? No. But they are perhaps the most important one to make a change to their policies, baby. And I'm going to tell you all about it right after this. This, this is, you know you listen to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name is Travis and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below. But for now, let's just get into the video. So you may have heard during the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and Note 20 release that they're going to support software for up to three years. Now, this is great news. Of course, it's actually not cutting edge. I mean, Google already does that for the Pixel line and Apple does it much longer than that. But Samsung's really important as they're one of the biggest manufacturers of Android phones. And if Samsung does it, maybe some other manufacturers will as well. And this normalizes what good support is. In this case, three years. Now, I believe three years is pretty reasonable. However, Apple is setting the standard far and beyond. Let's just take a look at how Samsung currently does their support model and maybe where they could go if they really wanted to be ambitious like Apple. And I hate when people say, oh, you're an Apple sheep, you're paid by Apple. First of all, Apple, write me a check. I dare you to write me a check. I would love a check. Matter of fact, Samsung, write me a check. Anybody write me a check. I am for sale. But no, I am here for you to try to get you and to speak out for the things that affect you and me as consumers. I don't care who does it, but I am gonna point out the good things and the bad things from all companies. If you haven't seen my videos about brand loyalty, I highly recommend you watch them. I'll leave a link in the description and probably at the end screen so you can understand where I'm coming from. I don't care about Apple or Samsung. I don't care about them. I care about the experience. And in this particular case, getting updates is really critical because your phone will be perpetually new with every single update. Now there's two different types of updates. Both are really important, but for me, one's more important than the other. For me, the most important update is security updates. And Samsung does a pretty good job giving you security updates for quite a long time. As a matter of fact, there are regular security updates for devices as far back as like S8 Active or something like that. I mean, that's, that's years and years ago. 2017-ish, um, so that's like three years, but that's security updates. They're not what we're talking about here with the Galaxy Note line of devices. We're talking about OS updates, which is like from Android 10 to 11 and so on and so forth. They've only ever done two of those. And uh, that's been kind of a thing that's, that's kind, of been a, kind of been a weak point. Apple's actually done a better job with this because you can actually have an original iPhone SE and get iOS 14 on it. That phone came out like in 2016. That's crazy. That's like four years of OS supports. And of course, when you get the OS operating system update, you get security as well. So you're getting the best of both worlds, which means you're getting features that didn't exist when you bought the phone. Security is just keeping people from hacking your stuff and keeping you from clicking weird things, which I know you're clicking weird things. Honestly, security should just be, you know, a given. Like you should be getting security updates for at least five years. Now, the OS update, I kind of feel indifferent about this. I think if you are a regular consumer, you probably don't even know you can update your phone to a new operating system. And if you do, you might, be kind of lost where some of the things you used to know where they were are no longer there. So I'm not real sure. But you can't deny the value for money Apple gives. They do support for so long. Operating system updates for five years and sometimes more. It just depends on the, the particular product. But finally, Samsung's out here saying, we're putting a stake in the ground. You're getting at least three years. Now, the cool thing they did, and they could have not done this if they didn't want to, is they are retroactively making this possible. So if you have a Galaxy S10 or later, you get in on three updates which is pretty darn cool because again, you'll get features that were not available when you bought the phone. You're actually getting more for your money. And this is what it comes down to. Again, the security updates, which are very important, need to be, without being said, active. You need to get them all the time. And uh, as the way Samsung does it now, there are some phones that get them monthly, which quite frankly to me should just be all of them that they support. And then some that get them quarterly, which means you can be out of date for three months. And then some to just get them regularly, whatever the hell that means. And they're not giving any kind of definitive timelines on those, but I guess it's because those are much older phones. And I guess fair enough, like if you have a phone that's four years old, 
You, you just, just get update when you get them. But if Apple can do it, why can't Samsung? And this is the thing that always perplexes me. Now, some might say it doesn't make financial sense. And I, I agree with that 100%. To support all these different devices, it, it, it's a lot of money. But Apple's able to do it and make a lot of money. So it's not really a good excuse. As far as I'm concerned, if you can update your phone every couple of months with a security update, you should be able to do it across your entire line, which means if you are in charge of how that phone is put together, the process of the RAM, all the things, then you should make it easy for yourself. And listen, I'm super happy with this. I think it's great. It's great for consumers. It's a great feature. Now that you don't have to worry about the cool things that'll come out in upcoming operating systems, missing out on any of those things. You don't have to, even if you got the S10, S10 Plus, uh, the, the S20, any of those devices that you bought without that promise are apparently going to get three years of updates, which is fantastic. And now you can feel better about your purchase. What I hope happens is other manufacturers in Android start to see this and they start to fall in line. And some of them are. I mean, I think it depends on how big the company is, whether or not they're gonna do it. Samsung can afford to do this, and quite frankly, they need to do this. Uh, everything about Samsung in 2020 has been about expensive phones, and they just have not sold well because the economy can't hold it. Now, their lower end and mid-range phones are gonna do fantastic. I reviewed the Galaxy S10 Lite on this channel. It's my favorite Samsung phone I've reviewed in a long time. I'll leave a link for that in the description and on the end screen. I love that phone, still to this day. I think it's an amazing phone. I think they should concentrate there. And if you get three years of updates on that phone, which at the time I bought it was $500, uh, yes please. And when I buy the Galaxy Fold 2, I made a video about that too, and you can leave, watch that. I'll leave it all the places. I absolutely expect three years of updates, so I'm glad this is gonna be the case. I mean, I shouldn't have to beg for that anyway. These are things that we should be getting without them being such a big deal. Why do I have to make a video about this? Because it's just never been a thing until now. It should just be in the company's best interest to do what's right for the customer. Apple's been doing this for a long time and whether or not you like Apple, it's hard to deny that. If you buy a phone from four years ago and it's still supported, that's a good thing. Now, of course, if you're a Google fan, you've known about support for three years for a while. The Pixel line has been supported, but as I've said a million times before, the Pixel phones don't sell very well. They don't. I love how people went into my last video and mentioned, oh, it's selling the best on Amazon. It, it always has sold the best on Amazon. Just to be clear, I just want to clarify something real quick. The Pixel 3, Pixel 3a, Pixel 3a XL, all those devices have always been on the top of the sales charts of Amazon and Best Buy, and they couldn't even sell 8 million phones in 2019. If you think that's a lot, I highly suggest you do some research. That's nothing. So it's good that Samsung, an actual player in the Android space, will make this the standard. Three years of support, absolutely important, and it's really important that it's Samsung, more so than even Google. And you should want better from the manufacturer of your phone, of your device. It shouldn't be a matter of, oh, Apple sucks this or Apple sucks that. You should want that. You should want updates for a very long time. So while I'm happy Samsung is giving out security updates for multiple years, OS updates are the next obvious thing, and I'm so glad they've done that. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this? Are you excited? Does this make you now want to purchase a Samsung phone more now than ever before, now that you're going to be supported? Like a jockstrap? I don't actually know why I said that. Anyway, here's a video you should probably watch to get that out of your head. And then here's another one in case it's still not out of your head. I'll see you next time. Peace and love.